everybody, it's Rosie. I um, wanted to do a little video for you where I was gonna show you my five kind of favorite lip products that I'm using at the moment. I actually find that um, kind of changing up your lip is a great way to take your makeup from day to night. Um, and so yeah, here we go. First and foremost for me when I apply my lip bar, um, my, any kind of lip product, is that I wanna make sure my lips are kind of really hydrated. Um, Barbara Stern recently um, sent me over her new uh, lip balm, which I've been using. Um, and this is also really just great to use um, underneath uh, any lip colors or products that you're using. And so this is just gonna really help keep my lips hydrated um, before applying anything else and will help the product go on more evenly. One of the things I will say is probably best to avoid any kind of lip color with um, high pigment or a strong color or anything that's too mattifying if you've got dry lips. Okay, so my first favorite lip that I um, use all the time is um, my Rosie for Autograph um, lipstick in Lady Rose. And this color was actually designed to really be my the same color as my natural lip. It's a really, really hydrating um, lipstick, very easy to apply, very buildable and long wearing. And so I don't have to be too precious about this. I'm just gonna apply and you can really sort of see, it pretty much is the shade of my, nat of my natural lip color. And so it's just very easy to wear. But you can see it gives a really pretty kind of creamy, silky finish and then you know, that really just took a couple of minutes. If I kind of want to be more refined about it, I'll use a lip liner that perhaps is in um, a similar shade. I'm going to use Kevin Aquan, the Flesh Tone Lip Pencil, and this is in Minimal. And I'm just going to kind of sharpen up the edges. Okay, so that is uh, Lady Rose by Rosie Portograph. So um, then my second favorite lip product that I've been using at the moment would be um, this product from Hourglass. And this is my favorite, it's Cameo. And I just love this product. Every single thing about it feels luxurious from the gold, um, applicator here to the actual formulation itself and this again is just a great way to kind of get a quick lip this is a lovely product i like to use in the daytime but it's also kind of very sexy for the night and i think you can really build this up it smells lovely but it is ultra ultra hydrating I actually feel like I could just do this all day long. That is so satisfying. <laughs> okay. Well, I recently discovered, I would say um, last year when I went to an event with Too Faced is um, the uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss. I really, really love this. I love the nude color that it is and the smell is kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of being like a teenager and buying my first lip gloss. Um, and first of all, I'm going to use um, an Hourglass lip liner. Uh, this is their long wear lip liner in um, Eden. And I like to put my little finger on my chin just to give myself like a bit of stability. And then you can just see here like the difference between this side and this side of my mouth. Okay, so after I finish with the liner, I'm gonna take the lip gloss and I don't know if there's any tips or tricks about applying lip gloss, other than perhaps starting on the bottom of your lip and swiping. I really like the texture of this lip gloss it's not really like a gloss to be honest it's more of like a lip lacquer it's got a, like a um, sort of satin very smooth um 
kind of hydrating feel to it. And I like the sort of little hint of, well, peachiness that it's got in it. Hence the name. Okay. So that is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. Okay, so um, the next lip product that I have been loving at the moment are the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro Lipsticks. Um, I became the face of um, Bare Minerals uh, last year and um, when we shot the campaign we were shooting a few months ahead for the launch of these lipsticks and um, Nikki DeRost, who is the makeup artist, who's also an ambassador for Bare Minerals, put this colour on me for the campaign and when I um, threw up the picture on my Instagram account to announce our partnership everybody was like talking about the color of the lipstick and how incredible it was so um i wanted to use that today this is such an incredible red it's called cherry it's really like a very kind of classic orangey kind of red but you'll just see how rich and creamy and how intense the pigment is and um i'm not going to be too precious about this because I just, I actually find that the application of this lipstick is very easy to use and I like the edge of it so you can kind of get a nice clean sharp edge uh, without having to use liner. Sometimes I like to turn the bullet around and use like this edge. Sometimes as well, um, when I'm doing a red lip, because you obviously want to make sure the line is even, I'll tip my head forward a little bit and look into the mirror on top of the lip line. And that way you can really see exactly where your lip line is. Okay, so once I've got the shape the way I like it, and then you can kind of really push in and build up the colour. Cool. Look how red that is. Like that is such a great way to like take your makeup from like day into night. I also think this colour would be so gorgeous in the summer with a tan. So that is a Bare Minerals Bare Pro lipstick in Cherry. All right, so um, this is another um, lip stick that I love to wear, um, or lip color that I love to wear from Chanel. This is from their Rouge Le Ink collection, and this is color 152, and it's called Choquant. I love these ink lips from Chanel because they, I don't know, I love the way that they have just a very smooth application um, and I think the colour range in this is just really fun and beautiful and I really do love the way the texture of this feels on my lips. Yeah, I think this is quite a beautiful red for winter time because it does have that sort of more kind of blue tone to it. I'm just going to start on the bottom lip with this. Again, making sure I'm starting on really nice, hydrated lips. And, God, they really do just lay over your lips so quickly and smoothly. Okay, so now I'm going to just push it into the top of my mouth. It's always worth taking your time with a red lip and making sure you get a really great outline. And 
another one of my favourite things about these lip inks is that you can build, you can leave the lip like that where you've just applied one coat, you can let it dry for a little bit and then add another one or you could like blot it down and just have a really nice sort of stain almost and I love the little sheen that you get in it but it's not it's not what I would call like glossy um, and it's not oily but you do have like a shine to it which makes your lips kind of look plump and more full so I'm just gonna add a little bit more here in the center of my lip to kind of give it a little bit more definition Okay, so that is the Chanel Rouge Allure ink. Um, and those are my five favorite lip colors that I'm wearing at the moment. I would love for you guys to tell me what products that you're using on your lips at the moment, any tricks or tips that you have for applying your lipsticks. Um, yeah, and like any more comments that you have for me, any kind of more videos that you would like to see from me or from us at Rose Ink. And thank you so much for watching. Big kiss.